We shall be doing active and passive voice of past indefinite tense. In order to transform the given active voice sentence into its passive voice form, we follow certain rules. They are number one. the object of the verb in active voice comes to occupy the subject position in the passive voice means the object takes the position of the subject and the subject goes at the position of the object number 2 the main form of the verb is changed into its third form means that you always put third form of the verb in the passive voice sentences Number 3 a suitable auxiliary or helping verb is added Number 4 by is added in the passive sentence but not always I'll tell you with the help of the examples Number 5 the subject of the active voice may be left out of the sentence in the passive voice This case is applicable in some of the sentences I shall help you understand this point as well. Now, we shall talk about the past indefinite tense formation as well as its active voice conversion into passive voice. Following rules are applicable. Number one, object takes the position of the subject, and the subject takes the position of the object as well. Number two, change did into was or were means that in the passive voice of the past indefinite tense, you use was or were as the auxiliary verbs, and in the negative sentences, you omit did and add was or were instead of that. Number three, you always use third form of the verb along with by. I have already told you. Number four, convert the pronouns into the passive form. For example, they have does. Now, how would you identify that this is the past indefinite tense? Following this formula. this sentence has been made in order to have good grip on the correct formation of affirmative negative and interrogative sentences of past indefinite tense i would suggest you to go and watch a video i'll be adding the video link of uh, the link of that video in the description box you must go and watch that as well so following all these four rules i have converted it into its passive voice form i took us and its passive voice form in the start of the sentence which became we then we is your plural subject so with we you add were we were helped is the third form of the verb by you added because it's your passive voice sentence and you added them the passive voice sentence of they they did not help us it is the negative sentence of past indefinite tense again the passive form of us will be we then you will add were not because it's your negative sentence you will add the third form of the verb which is helped by them now did they help us this is your interrogative sentence of past indefinite tense 
and it has been written following this rule or formula we shall convert it into its passive voice form it would look like this were we helped by them now you see i have followed all these four points and converted the given sentences which were in active voice form into their passive voice form this exercise will help you to have more grip on the topic see the first sentence he caught a ball you can see that a ball here is the object when we will convert it into its passive voice the, a ball will come in the start of the sentence caught here is showing that this is the uh, affirmative sentence of past indefinite tense because it's the second form of the verb so while converting that into its passive voice form we add was or were as helping verbs and he is the subject it will come in the end of the sentence and your sentence would look like this a ball was caught by him see the second sentence we did not store mangoes this is the negative sentence of past indefinite tense how did you identify did not help you to identify that this is the negative sentence so mangoes here is the object you will take out mangoes in the start of the sentence and your sentence would look like this mangoes were not stored by us you see mangoes has been taken out in the start of the sentence in the subject position now mangoes are uh, is a plural subject that that is why you added were with it mangoes were not because it's your negative sentence stored third form of the verb by us number 3 did the boy steal my pen now this is your interrogative sentence of past indefinite tense did help you to understand this point you will say was my pen stolen by him number 4 the teacher taught a new lesson a new lesson is the object so it will come in the start a new lesson was you added was because it's the rule taught third form of verb by the teacher see the fifth sentence we did not make a new plan so we will take out a new plan in the start of the sentence now did not shows that this is the negative sentence of past indefinite tense and your sentence would look like this a new plan was not made by us number 6 did the shopkeeper sell the rotten eggs the rotten eggs is the object it will come in the start and did shows that this is the interrogative sentence your passive voice will be were the rotten eggs sold by the shopkeeper you see were has been taken out in the start of the sentence because it's the question and you added third form of the verb sold our last sentence is i got up in the evening i here is the subject got up is the verb in the evening now is not the object so you will say that we cannot convert it into passive voice because the sentence does not have any object i hope now that this exercise would help you understand that how can you convert the given affirmative negative and interrogative sentence of past indefinite tense into its passive voice form i want you to practice the following you have to convert these sentences into the passive voice forms 
and after you have done your work, you want to match your answers from this solution which is given to you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.